All right, Walshy here. I'm out here at E3, day two. I've been playing quite a bit of Halo 4. Walking out, playing it the first time, it was very promising. I enjoyed it. Um, I see a lot of potential for it, so I don't really see... It's a good sign when I can play the game for the first time and not know what's the most powerful thing or not be like, you know what, I use this and it's so broken already. The only thing I could even say for that so far is maybe Promethean Vision, but we'll have to see how it turns out. Biggest differences between Reach and Halo 4, uh, multiple. So obviously there's still sprint in this game, and it comes default, it's not just armor ability, but it's not as strong. Like in, in Reach, when you had sprint, you were flying across the map, you were, you know, you could literally cover half the map in one sprint. Whereas this game, um, much slower, and it's still a very fast paced game with just a normal movement speed. On top of that, like when you talk about DMR, Bloom, and Recoil, um, not as significant. So I was using DMR, I was able to spam it fast and hit shots across the map, so still hit headshots. One thing that I would keep and that has blown my mind so far with Halo 4 is the loadouts. Um, some people are opposed to it saying like, you know, that's not Halo, but I feel it adds depth to the game, helps the game evolve. You choose different loadouts for different situations. They also have the ability to change loadouts in game. So you don't like a loadout you have, you made, you made one mistake or you see what the opponent's doing, you can change in game, make those adjustments. I think that's just so deep for the game. It, doesn't show that there's, all right, you just start off with this one weapon, these grenades, and you're out. You actually have to go in, think about what you want to go in, like use. Build a team sort of style, because you can have one person that's going to have your, your firepower, one person can be a support or distraction. So I really think it's going to pretty much help the game evolve. I've done some calculations already, and there's over 1,280 uh, combinations do from loadouts, just from the things we have here. So it's, uh, you know, it looks very promising, shows how in-depth the game can be. There you have it. Those are my first impressions in Halo 4. You can follow me on Twitter at Walsh304, Facebook.com slash Dave Walsh, and I'll have my YouTube channel out soon, and they'll have a link on here for you.